Okay, so this is this is a experiment of phytoremediation experiment, and what we're doing here, every one of these containers represent a constructed wetland or artificial wetland, and this is what we call an experimental vessel. So every container has the capacity of 125 gallons of water. In the bottom of the container, there is, I would say, like um, two inches of expanded clay. We had two inches of expanded clay, and we use that as a substrate for the plants to have something to attach to, but also is a very good filter system, very light, not that expensive. So every day we will have uh, three different retention times here. We get the, the, the fish water from the tank, we bring it on that pipe, and then with that hose, we feed 125 gallons of water into the container. We retain it for 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, and we are testing two things. We are testing when we are growing lotus on the on the tanks, on the constructed wetlands, how much of the nutrients coming in are filtered every 24 hours or every 72 hours or whatever. But also, if you notice, we had containers with uh, four plants growing in it, and we had containers without plants. So we want to know the differences between the system with and without plants, and I can tell you right now for some nutrients, like am uh, ammonium, ammonium, the reduction is we can get a 75% reduction in 48 hours or 72 hours when the plants are present, but when the plants are not present, it's, it's, it's almost insignificant, the reduction. With nitrates, with some other elements, with potassium, definitely the plant make a dent on the, on the initial concentration. Some other elements, is, it, it won't be different. Oh, a good example is nitrates because of the bacteria present in the system, it doesn't matter if we had plants or without plants, um, just having the retention time, it will be enough to enhance the degradation of this uh, compound, which is very good because our idea is to get the, the, the polluted water into the containers filter the polluted waters and then the, the water can go either back to the to the to the to the environment or in some other cases we can send the water back into the into the container so we had a closed system. All the all the plants are the same cultivar. We are using an ornamental plant and these are three Three, old, three months old plants. Every day I will come and drain them. Let me show you. Which one is uh, today? Is oh, 24. Every day I come over. And then we drain the system. And then we replace the water with new water. And every week I will come with my uh, with my bottles uh, and, and take samples to send it to the lab. And next Wednesday I will come with a special equipment that will allow me to measure the nutritional composition of the water on site. So we had not only a field, a field, um, testing capacity but also we had the lab capacity.